just throw in one question, if that would be okay. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So I know yeah. it's, it's generally. I think I think thank you for the historical uh, breakdown, and I think that's very important. And it's only that I'm coming here, and you know, you and I have been on, in this gender angle for a very long time together. I think you've we've, we've participated in so many media uh, conversations, and we know also that there's, there's so been so many promises at the top level. And you know, right now we are sitting there as people who have been beaten in terms of the promises have never, many of them have never been fulfilled. Why should we, why should we believe any promise right now? I'm just being a devil's advocate if you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it is good to do that. But I just want to say why I'm excited myself about the new promises. When we were doing both Duale 1 and Duale 2, mm -hmm. uh, while we had presidential support, we had the senior match. Dangerous support. <laughs> and then when you go to the floor, you find you're actually alone. Um, this is the one time my president has agreed to say that I will eat this bottle from the front. Uhuru was supportive, the former president and the fourth president. But I know many times he told us, Go, I will be behind you. And then when we went to the floor, we found that there was no one behind us. The president this time issued a memo. He himself wrote down this thing. He issued a memo. And then luckily we also have the National Dialogue, the NATCO report, mm -hmm. and the Minister for Gender, Aisha Jumwadid, set up the Multisectoral Task Force, which has a report, and the debate on NATCO has closed with some of the matters that we are discussing. So now there is no Chiniyamaji support. So you can now say that we have political goodwill that is on the table as opposed to when it is there. I mean, there, sometimes you can't quite touch it. This one you can touch. Okay. But also more importantly is also that... Uh, that we can't give up. You know, we don't have another yeah, option. Yeah, we we have considered the court process. We mm -hmm. have considered and, and even been in discussions at the CMD Kenya, where mm -hmm. we sit at the multisexual task force. We had actually considered that maybe we need another Marada decision. Mm -hmm. So the other thing is the president is going to do his part. But what about the other agencies? What about the judiciary? What about mm -hmm. parliament? What about the women's movement? We are missing the movement a lot, especially for those of us who've been around for long. Yeah. We do need a movement. There is no way. These things are not achievable unless the movement is strong, the movement is structured, the movement has a priority list because the women issues are also too many. Mm -hmm. uh, like in the G7, we had only four pillars. One pillar on economic development, a pillar on political strategy, a pillar on accountability because then they have resources, so they need to be accountable for the resources they have, and a pillar on institutional strengthening. So that prioritization list and also believable women leaders. We do need uh, women leaders that are not in position. It can't be that only the ministers and only the members of parliament are doing this. There must be women out there joining in this effort. But I feel like if we push well in 2024, uh, we, could, we could make some progress. And you know, uh, just to go back to history, every time we have had this fight, I the way we take a young child. We to that. Positions in the National Assembly because I remember one time we fought hard until Gladys became the chair of finance and Florence Mutua became the chair of education. So, because it's a societal problem. Mm -hmm. Like now, many more counties need to move to FGM zero. You know, we still have many counties that are FGMing. And we have many counties where girl marriage, the marriage before 18 is happening, and teenage uh, sex, uh, sex below 18 is happening. So even just to break the culture on those ones, to fight femicide, society to have more men, you know, more male champions on these things, which is why the, the excitement with the president is actually around male champions. Okay. Because then, the, like yesterday, Governor Sakaja was there, Ishongwa, and you know now it's time for Ishongwa bills. We've already done with Duale bills. So those male champions are also very, very critical for, for this uh, conversation. And, and positive masculinity, so that we have mm -hmm. our men uh, teaching about positive masculinity, which is not GDV, you know, as, as it was. So I just have a couple of, we, we, society will move forward. Thank you very much. Uh, that was quite resourceful. We're glad you could join us and we're, love, we're loving this discussion. You're listening to the inaugural program, Gender Reports, and we are listening to DDM, Development Through Radio, or rather through media, Radio Baraza. And uh, yes, uh, she's built in a 
very critical perspective, the male champion. And this takes me back to 1955, you, the, the story of Rosa Parks and how she started uh, one of the serious protests in that time. And, 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 and she, she, she had a male champion. Uh, she had just come from work, uh, working under a very uh, constrained uh, and labor environment. And she had been standing and ironing throughout. Then she enters the bus. And, and it is marked colored, so she sits there to wait. It's a public bus, and that time there was segregation. And uh, as she sits in the colored space, the other side is full. And uh, then the conductor asks her to to stand up and, and allow the other race seat. And, and she says no. And from that no, uh, she had to face uh, a court charges for disorderly conduct. And and thereafter there was a rally. And, and, and Martin Luther King gave that no a voice. So we're seeing the critical uh, value of having the male voice because uh, Rosa Parks was a bit uh, quiet uh, and, and reserved and conservative, and she politely just said no. 